Just five short months into her role as First Lady, Jill Biden will appear on this month's cover of Vogue magazine. She was photographed by Annie Leibovitz in a floral dress from Oscar de la Renta, costing almost $3,000. There it is right there. Accompanying those pictures is a fawning 6,000-word piece begging the question, why didn't our former First Lady get the same treatment? Joining us now to talk more about this is the host of Just the Truth and a Newsmax contributor. Jenna Ellis is with us. Jenna, good morning. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too, Rob. Um, Jenna, first question, I, I got to ask this because times have changed, but you know, Vogue magazine, so relevance and Vogue magazine haven't really collided in the same sentence in, in quite a while. People just don't read magazines like they used to, but does this even matter anymore that, that Dr. Jill is on the cover of this magazine? Well, I don't think that it does. I mean, when you have a transgender woman who is crowned Miss Nevada USA and now Jill Biden on the cover of Vogue, you know that the left has gone crazy. This isn't about standards of beauty or style anymore. It's all just about politics. And so I don't think that a lot of people are even going to care about this except for the left. And it is only about the standards of hypocrisy now. And so we can uh, point this out in terms of how the disparaging treatment and the difference uh, between the treatment of our former first lady who was actually a supermodel uh, versus the treatment of Jill Biden. And that is something that I think we do need to talk about because the left, of course, is all about politics and about framing the narrative. And they wanted the uh, average woman to not look up to Melania as a first lady figure. Right. And they want the average young woman to look up to Jill Biden. And so that's the purpose of things like this. But yeah, ultimately, most, I don't think a lot of people care. Our most glamorous first lady, maybe Jackie Kennedy is a part of that conversation, our most beautiful first lady. Um, I, it, Michelle Obama was on 12 magazine covers while she was on first, uh, while she was first lady, including three Vogue's. Hillary Clinton was on the cover of Vogue in 1998. So, I, and by the way, I've never heard of this, the guy who wrote this piece, Jonathan Van Meter. I'd be embarrassed if I wrote this piece, though. It's just, I mean, he calls Dr. Jill a joy multiplier, a goddess, driven, tireless, effortlessly popular, but also someone who reminds us of ourselves. I, I, I mean, just wow. fawning. Yeah, absolutely. And that's all that this puff piece is, is just wanting to tell women that you should be more like the progressive left. And so it's a political piece. It's not actually about style. It's not about class. It's not about facts. It's all about shaping the narrative. And that's all that the left wants to do. And that's all that mainstream media wants to do is tell you that these are the figures that young women should look up to because they're the ones that advocate things like abortion on demand. They're the ones that advocate for universal health care. They're the ones that advocate for feminism. And so the left is going to continue to tell women that these are the people you need to look up to instead of the women like Melania who wanted to be a mother, who uh, champions progressive or champions conservative values and uh, is actually for America first. And so she couldn't be on the cover because she doesn't embrace the absolute extreme leftism that Jill Biden does. If Melania were a Democrat, of course she would be on the cover. That's the bottom line. You bring up a good point about parenting, by the way. I don't think that Eric, uh, uh, certainly not uh, Donald Jr., but certainly not Barron, who was in the White House for four years, uh, a, young, a young man himself, uh, you know, they've got Hunter Biden, you know, and, and, and those <laughs> comparisons. You can't ignore those comparisons. But what about this for an inspirational story? So I, th I get it's fine, you know, the the... Vogue wants to write this kind of article, but what about, so Melania, she was born in a tiny town in Slovenia with a population of 5,000. She speaks five languages and she became first lady of the United States. I mean, that's a, that's a story. I'd read that story. Absolutely. But again, she doesn't fit the left's narrative. And so she can't be a champion of uh, a female icon for all of her accomplishments because she does not embrace the values of the left. And so they're not looking at the actual accomplishments of this amazing first lady. They have to ignore everything and pretend that she's evil just because she's a Trump. And if you look at how the media treated the Trump family throughout his presidency, it was horrible. It was false. It was absolutely slanderous. And yet they embrace Jill Biden as if she's an icon of style just because she champions the leftist values. And 
so you're absolutely right, Rob, that uh, this first lady, Melania Trump, was absolutely someone that young women should look up to and say, this is the American dream. But yeah. they refuse to show that because they're so biased. The article, I'm just curious what you make of, um, and we should say that Melania was on the 2005 cover when she married the president uh, as a uh, you know as a bride, a beautiful bride back in 2005. Um, again, you said she she was you know she was a supermodel before she was first lady. Um, I'm interested in what you think. The article takes some shots at the president redoing the Rose Garden, uh, but the article talks about Jill Biden's education and her, her level of expertise. Um, she got an EDD in education, so not a doctoral, uh, from the University of Delaware online in 2007. But the article talks about her like she's some infectious disease specialist. Thank goodness we've got her in the Oval Office. And that couldn't be the, that's the furthest thing from the truth. It's, it's just pure puffery to say, look at all of these things that we want you to believe about Jill Biden, and we want to inflate uh, her career. We want to inflate everything about uh, what young women should look up to and, and see her as. And, and it's just, it's totally ridiculous. And hopefully the American people see through this yeah. and they see this for what it is. Uh, Jenna, and I should say, I have no problem with Jill Biden being on the cover of this magazine. Put her on the cover of every magazine. I just think it should be, it should be fair. I, and I just think it's exactly. it just should be fair. If you're going to cover one, cover the other, cover them all. Um, it Jenna, be so political. nice seeing you. Yeah, exactly. Very clear. Uh, nice seeing you again, Jenna. You too, Rob. Thanks. All right. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest-growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.